Okay, welcome to the Me Arm Raspberry Pi Edition build video. So today we're going to put together an arm. Um, so first we're going to put together the, the Raspberry Pi and the hat. So if you put the hat onto the Pi, um, align the pins as you can see. And then find the little spacers and they're going to sit between the two boards. And then just pop the screw, the long screws down um, on all four sides. It's easier to do this while it's off the, the board um, to get all them all aligned before you try and uh, put them all in. So next take the, the the clear piece of acrylic and align the, the four screws so they, they pop through the holes and then line that up with the, the colored piece on the bottom. It should just push the screws up slightly but you should then be able to screw the screws into the bottom piece of acrylic and it will hold both pieces together nice and tightly. Once you've screwed the, the Raspberry Pi onto the, the base, you need to put the small end piece into the, the slots and then the two longer pieces um, with the holes at the front so that it sits over the, the ports on the Raspberry Pi. You can then slot the, the top piece onto the, the top of those three pieces. And then put the elastic bands down the sides to hold it all together. Once you put this all together, put the little joystick caps on and then you can put this whole piece to one side. Now we're going to put together the main part of the arm. So take the servo that's got the two ends to the horn and the base and push the servo in through the top um, so it pokes, pokes out the bottom. Um, you should align the end of the servo with the circle. And then take the um, top bit of plastic, pop it in over the top, there's only one way it can go in, and then wind the cable around through that bit of plastic to keep it nice and tidy. When you plug it in, um, you'll see the end pin should be marked with a Y for yellow. Make sure that lines with the yellow um, line of the, the servo cable um, so that it plugs in correctly. Um, if you need to loop it back on itself to take up the slack, you can, but it should be reasonably tight. Then take the two end pieces, pop them in through the base. Again, they'll only go in one way. And take the side pieces and slot those on the sides so that the large hole goes over the pins. You want the cutout for the servo to go towards the, the front of the PCB. Then take one of the elastic bands, put it around the, uh, the little slots you'll see in the sides and just pop it around there and it just holds it in place nice and tightly. Now we're going to build up one side of the, the main arm. 
First you need to take the um, thicker piece with the slots on it. So we're going to take these pieces and assemble them as follows. With one of the 12 mil screws, I'm going to put that through As you can see, um, it's longer than it needs to be, so just put it through, um, not all the way, just so it protrudes slightly through the, the end, and we'll, we'll tighten this up later. You can see it just goes through. Now with the smaller screw, we're going to put on the little brace at the back. And that can go in all the way. Now the trick when tightening up the um, the arm pieces is to make sure that they're still nice and loose when you move them. So if you tighten it up all the way, it'll be too tight, but it should move freely. So if you if you tighten it so it moves freely, like that's too tight, untighten it slightly, and it should move freely like that. If the arm's not moving, it's probably because it's too tight and you'll need to untighten the screw slightly. Then we're going to get the two curved bottom pieces together like that. Screw them together with a larger screw. And onto the back brace that you put on earlier. Again, this should be nice and loose, um, too tight and the arm will be too stiff and it won't move. It should be nice and loose like that. Okay, now we're going to put that piece onto the main body that we built earlier. So it's going to screw through that central white plastic piece with one of the longer screws. through the long bra long piece and then into the small bottom piece. Again, it should be nice and loose. Now we're going to build the other half of the arm with these five pieces. So align the top triangular piece like that. Then we're going to screw the long piece with the slots into the bottom of it and the other narrower piece with the, the, the thicker end do that as well, like you can see. That's just one 12 mil screw all the way through. just flush with the surface. We'll tighten it up later.
Then we're going to take the two remaining pieces and just screw them onto the triangular um, section with the, the two short screws. So your piece should look like that when you're done. Now we're going to attach it to the other side. First we need to add the cross brace. It'll only go on one way, so slot it on, push it down, and then we're going to screw in that final screw at the top, and it'll hold it in place. Again, not too tight. Now that's in place, we're going to add the other half. Once you've attached the main part of the arm, we're going to then attach that back brace onto the main chassis. Now we're going to take one of the remaining servos, align it so the servo horn is pointing up, and then just push it into the hole that fits the horn, and clip the two side brackets in place. Now they hook onto the top, and then lever down. Um, don't force them, it might, you might just need to jiggle the servo slightly so that they lock into place but should, they should lock in and then clip into the bottom of that piece. And then we're going to do the same thing for the other side. We're going to take the servo, align the arm to the front, and then slot it in to the hole that's in the main arm. And just clip it in place with the brackets. Four brackets in place. I'm going to take another elastic band, pop it around the bottom, and that's just going to hold them all nice and tightly. You then need to wind the wires of the servos around up through the top holes and down through the bottom ones, and then plug them into the side of the, uh, the base PCB. Take the piece from the first part the, with the pie in it and then you should be able to just lever the servo horn in between the two layers and slide it down so that it locks into position in the bottom Take an elastic band and then hook that across the front underneath like that and that acts as a little foot for the 
arm to keep it nice and nice and solid when you're using it. Now we're going to build the grip. So take the servo and make sure the arm is adjusted like you can see in the picture. Take the small bit of plastic with the, the hole through it and clip it onto the side of the servo and then push the two pieces with the hooks on top onto the side of that. So you can see it all clipped together. Now take the piece with the hole in and lever it on like so. Now at that point you've got all the white bits on the surrounding the servo. You should be able to take the side pieces and check the, the you got the correct holes and they should just push into the top hook under and then lever down onto the side. So in the top and then lever down and hold in place. Now holding it all together we're going to put the, the grab over the servo horn and then the base plate on and then holding it all together we're going to just slot in the second grab under that base plate so it aligns with the first and the hole should align with the hole in the uh, in the base plate. I'm going to put one long screw through there and then screw it in, into position. Again, don't do it too tight because otherwise your grab won't open. Should move nice and freely. I'm going to take the final elastic band, just pop it around the top to keep it nice and tight. Should align with the little grooves on the side. And take the rest of the body that we made earlier and attach the grab to the struts using the remaining 6mm screws. Now finally we're going to tidy up the cable coming from the servo. It should tuck down through the hole in the grab. Pull it through and then weave in through the top hole and back out through the longer bottom hole in through the top and back out through the bottom. Finally, we're going to attach the connection cable into the arm and into the Raspberry Pi. We 
at which point then you can plug it in and providing you've got the right image on the Raspberry Pi card it should come to life. So it'll take a little while to boot up. Once it does it'll jerk into action. There we go and now you should be able to move it around make it move. Thank you very much.